Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in this video, let's try to uh, understand about the with component input binding feature. So what is this with component input binding feature? This feature allows us to bind root parameters directly to the component inputs when navigating between the routes. It simplifies passing root related data such as IDs or query parameters to components. I will try to explain you step by step regarding this one. So let's try to see the step by step installation of this one. For this one, I will uh, try to take the grocery item, something like that, a simple example, displaying and editing of the grocery items. So let's say that in our app, we will be having the two main routes. So let's go to the routing here. And here I will be having the app.route.ts file. Okay. So in this one, what I will try, what I would try to take it is, so we will be having two components, groceries, uh, what I will try to do it is, so I will try to take the grocery list and also edit grocery item. So here I will create nggc grocery list, grocery list, so spelling mistake, grocery list. So the next one we will be having is the nggc edit grocery item. So this is the another component which I would try to create it. So before after creating this one, so you here I will be having so path if you are traveling to groceries, groceries, then I would want to show the component grocery list item, grocery list component. And if I want to go to the path of uh, groceries, groceries, sorry, gross. Uh, groceries this one right groceries slash edit slash id so this one is the uh, dynamic one i will try to explain you this one also so i here i would want to load the component edit grocery item edit grocery item component that's it so these are the two components which i would try to do it and we also know that in our app.config.pts file so we will be providing the router with app routes right and here we need to add something like with component input binding. So we need to provide it this one with component input binding. So bind root. So in this case, now what I want to do it is so let's go to the edit grocery, edit grocery component dot ts file. So in this one, so which I would try to do it is so in this one, so we would get an ID, right? So here we have we have mentioning it as a dynamic ID. So this is the ID which we will be getting the grocery ID. So for this one, what we will write, we will try to, whenever you mention this one as with component input binding, so this would be passed as an input parameter. So that means here in our edit grocery, so we can capture it as an input. So here at the rate input, so you can also take it as a signal based input also, it's not a problem. And we, when we get the ID, I am using the set ID. So here I will be getting the grocery ID as a string. Okay. And in this one, so what I would try to do? So here I would try to get the grocery details, okay, grocery details of the tidy. So that means so we need to have a service. So I will try to create the service also. So for this one, we need to inject the grocery service. So let's try to have a grocery service.ts file. So here in our app, we are having these all the components, right? So for this one, I will be creating a new folder that is services and grocery.service.ts file. So here I will be having grocery.service.ts file. And for this one, I will be having at the rate injectable provided in root. So let's create the grocery service export class grocery service. I will be having the grocery service and in this grocery service. So let's say that we will be having uh, groceries. So private groceries equal to I will be having array id of 1 and I can have something like name apples let's assume in the same scenario I can have id of 2 and here we can have bananas and the another one is carrots so id of 3 so let's say that these are the groceries which we be having and we need to have a grocery of string right so I will be having get grocery <coughs> by ID and this one you will be sending the ID of number so we can have we can send the number also and here 
so we can have something like uh, i will try to get the constant grocery is equal to this dot groceries dot find of item sorry item dot id triple equal to id that's it so we can get it something like grocery and we can return the grocery so i want to return the grocery in such a way that return uh, normally we will get an observable right so like this i will try to return it return off of grocery okay so that's it so now we have created the grocery by id so now we need to display the groceries list here so let's go to the um, groceries list so fine let's leave it like this so let's go to the groceries list or otherwise what i will try to do it is so here we are having the edit grocery item dot ts right so we can inject the grocery so constructor private grocery service service of type grocery service uh, so i have imported this grocery service so now we need to get the grocery details right so here this dot grocery so we can have a grocery here grocery dollar it is of type observable let's say that we can have any okay so let's have this one as must and should this dot grocery dollar is equal to this dot grocery service dot get grocery by id and we need to pass the grocery id that's it so now here we are sending the grocery id of strike is not assignable to the okay so let's try to make it as an integer fine fine right so now we are trying to send it so that's it so now let's go to the groceries list so we'll try to show the groceries list also so here i'll be having the groceries list dot item so here uh, what i can do it is so if you want to get the grocery list of items so what can i do here we inject the grocery constructor so actually we don't have a groceries that one so i uh, grocery service is there right so here i can do get groceries and here a return off of this dot groceries okay so now here i can take it this one all and here i can have grocery list so <coughs> grocery grocery service is equal to inject we can also use this one also grocery grocery service okay we got the service and here what i want to do um, groceries dollar is equal to this dot grocery service dot get groceries okay so we got the groceries and here we can go uh, to the html and here what i can do so here we will be having the grocery list right so here i can do uh, such a way that i will copy and paste the code enter code so that you can able to understand it so here we are getting the groceries and here i can do the async okay and here we will be having the router link grocery slash edit slash grocery id so router link we are getting it an error right so what i can do here so we need to add in the imports common module and also the router link that's it so now if you try to see in the html so all the errors has been gone away so now we are able to see this grocery list and in our edit grocery in the html file so we need to show some data right in the edit grocery item edit grocery item so we need to show the item so i will try to copy it and paste it again here so we are getting the ng grocery async and the edit grocery dot name we are will be showing the grocery dot name okay so now let's go to the here so we are getting the grocery here observable of any so that's it so we can have common module if you want that's it so now if you try to see the output for this one so let's go here into this and here i oh some error we are getting it let's try to see whether whether we are getting an error or not so fine slash groceries let's try to see whether we can able to get the groceries or not so we are not able to get any groceries so what is this error so let's try to see here okay we are getting error error busy oh some problem came with my npm so let's try to restart it again so fine so that's it so now it is working sometimes for me i don't know why it's still that resource busy or logged for you also whether you are getting this issue or not let me know in the comments so what i will try to do it is i will close the visual studio code and i will rerun the 
command build command again now if you try to see here the output hopefully everything is working fine and here you will be able to see the grocery list also slash groceries and if i click on the edit so you will be able to see that edit apples we are able to get the edit apples also now if i click on here edit bananas so that means we are able to get that id as an uh, what i mean to say as an input parameter so that we can use it, this one as an input so this is how we will be doing this grocery list hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you